All right, so at the time of recording this, it's like a week away from Terraria 1.4. So how would one prepare for Terraria 1.4? Personally, I had a wank. <laughs> But besides that, I am going to break down everything that we kind of maybe a sort of know. I don't know. I just kind of watched Chippy Gaming for like 12 hours. So I can hear his, hello, Terrarians. My name is James. Please help. So let's just jump into it. Also, I'm just going to use this footage for background footage because... Uh... When creating a new world, you'll be given a brand new shiny UI, which kind of looks pretty neat. Now I've got seeds because you really want to drive that Terraria is not copying Minecraft knife really deep. Don't you, Relogic? Don't you? We also got two new modes. The first one being journey mode, which is kind of like creative, but in the aspect where creative and survival had a miscarriage and this is what remains. See, you start with some items, but the game's like, oh, you expected to have all the items in your inventory? <laughs> You're dreaming, bro. You see, once you gain a certain amount of an item, that's when you can duplicate it. So you gotta grind for the item, but only then you can get more of it. So say you wanna get the Knight's Edge, you grind in for ages, and you got it. But now you can make more, because you just need 20 Knight's Edges, right? You can also control the difficulty in this game mode if you don't want to be on that pussy shit. And you can also control time and go like Zawaldo and stop time or something. Speaking of JoJo and bad transition, the Stardust Armor Minion that I never knew existed got a buff and holy shit. I think I've, uh, I think I've seen this somewhere, but I just can't put my finger on it. The other new mode is Master Mode, which is just something I'll never touch. Never, ever, ever. Never touch it. Never lay a finger on it because it's harder than Expert Mode and I struggle with the Eye of Cthulhu on Expert Mode. So yeah, enjoy that one, nerds. Once spawning into the game, you'll notice a whole new graphical update. Many sprites and backgrounds have been completely, and I mean, completely updated. Look how pretty they are. There's no joke here. It's just Terraria's art design is one of the greatest art design in the 2D, even like just art design in general. And here we have some updated sprites. Keep in mind, this is what I am viewing on the forum. So they might add new information. This might only be some yada yada. Fuck you, this is my show. So let's keep going. You'll notice that the sprite have a massive new detail in the shadows and light. The main one that personally stands out to me is Golem, which is also apparently buff in expert mode, which, you know, I'll never know about because I'm a pussy. There's a bunch of different new types of mobs and updates to the old ones. So the ones I want to talk about is one they showed in the trailer. If you go fishing in a blood moon, this thing spawns. So yeah, if you actually zoom in and enhance, it's kind of scary. So I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that. We also have a new theme for a boss that is not being confirmed yet, but they said there is a new boss theme. Personally, I wish it was for Duke Fishron and it's just the Pirates of the Caribbean theme, but hey, that's copyright and all, and I don't want to touch that. The Moon Lord is also getting some changes. Now it's laser beam has the ability to shoot through walls. Relogic, you sons of bitches. Also, I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently the other half to the Moon Lord is going to be a boss, but it's not confirmed or denied. It was kind of like teased, like developers were like, haha, what if we did this, JK, JK. Unless, but what I really want to see, and if you're a fan of this channel, you'll know what I'm about to say, is how big is the Moon Lord's cock? This motherfucker has a big ass laser. He's overcompensating for something. Is he a grower or a shower? Come on, Relogic, the people need the answers. If you watch the trailer for the game, you'll in fact notice there's also two new kind of overworld mechanic updates. One of which is wind and kites. So, you know, instead of beating the ever-living shit out of the Moon Lord with your 20 different buffs and your legendary thingamabob, you can take a nice rest and fly a kite whilst the wind theme plays putting you to sleep slowly but shop beep 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 that's the way to fuck up a lot because we got golf bitch Putt Putt is now on a whole new level move over little Tim get the fuck out of here I'm about to hole in one your mom I hate myself. As I said earlier, there were two new main aspects of the game. Now I'm going to say the second, which is gravity. It's maybe not a massive thing. Maybe it's just one or two items, no clue. But there's this little gif of you hovering a bit of wood above your head and you're like Wingardium Leviosa and everyone's just like, ooh, yay. What does that mean? And we'll never find out until the time goes, mmm. Speaking of your character and another amazing transition, there is a new character customization screen, which is pretty neat and well laid out. You 
you can actually make your character jump around on a pogo stick. I don't know why you'd want to, but you fucking can now. You also have other mounts like Lava Shark. It's a shark that jumps through lava. That's pretty cool, but either you gain an immunity to lava whilst you're doing it, or your ass is going to be more cooked than a black tar heroin addict. But the mount I'm really excited for is Big Bunny. It's like a normal bunny, but get this, it's big. Now, I know your dick can't get even harder right now, but there's a new pet, Pikachu. Pikachu's here. He's just, he's there and look at him and he's cute and is Pikachu. It's just Pikachu. And of course, everybody knows that Nintendo always loves when other people use their content. Always. So happy. Never ever hated it. Pets are also getting a massive new buff. I don't know if you call them a buff, but there's a lot more pets and there's an NPC, which is, it's a, it's a fairy. No, it's not a zoologist. It's a fairy. Fuck you. It does tie to the fairy though is the new bestiary, but as it says in the trailer, bestiary. You're wrong, Relogic. It's bestiary. Learn how to spell you fucking morons. Bestiary is actually a massive new addition to the game because you don't have to look at the fucking wiki every 10 seconds to see what percentage zombie arm will drop off a zombie. But because it's Terraria, they've got to be a little special snowflakes and of course there's a twist you kill the monster once and you know what the monster is there's nothing else to tell you what the monster is you can't just drag your cursor over and go oh that's a zombie no nope. you gotta kill it first <laughs> fucking thanks game so then you kill it again and now you get a you get a tidal wave of information you get its attack you get its defense you get its health you get its knockback you even get its backstory you get to know if the zombie used to be a politician who went mad trying to run his country like a business and would constantly get shit on by literally everyone because he reminded them of a dried up orange ball sack. Next time you kill the zombie, you get to see what it drops, but it doesn't show you the percentage. Well, I guess you gotta kill it again, and ha, ah, you got the percentage. Oh, look at all these stats. By the time you've already killed all four of those zombies, you could have looked it up on the wiki, gone for a marathon run, started a small business majoring in t-shirt that say epic slogans, and hibernated for the winter. Now, that last point was a bit of a stretch. You get my point, but don't worry. Cherry has a way around for you to just Google it up on the wiki, and that is a progression bar. Y yay and you know my dumbass is gonna catch up, I mean kill them all. Because there's a page for every goddamn single monster, every goddamn single enemy, and every goddamn single boss. You know how you spent ages preparing for that one boss, and you just managed to beat it? Well, you can do it another three times. Well, you don't have to, but how else will you get 100%? You'll just have that little tiny slit, a little gap in between, saying, you're not quite done yet. You absolutely fucking mongoloid. And you ask, how do you kill these mobs? By, with these brand new weapons, of course. I'm absolutely killing it with these transitions. We have the before mentioned Stardust. Holy fucking shit, is that a Jodo reference? Dude, I can't wait to go tell my two Tumba followers about this new discovery. I'm sure the lives of my sister and father would significantly improve because knowing of this information. But Elba, isn't that what you're doing with this video just on the grand- No, 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 shh. I'm a YouTuber. Criticism doesn't affect us. We also have the Medusa's head, which is apparently an already existing item. Yeah, I didn't know either. Okay, thanks, game. There's a change to the item. I don't know what the change is. No one does, but there's a change. So the Christmas sword also has a bit of a buff where it turns it into a Christmas tree when you swing it, which in practicality, it doesn't seem very useful. I mean, with the old Christmas tree sword, you could direct the ball in a direction. This one just kind of goes up. I mean, if there's a flying enemy that constantly hovers over you and it could be really useful, but I can't really think of one. Finally, the flails, which apparently are too much like yo-yos, they give them a bit of a wind-up mechanic, which, if you ask me, it's just a cheeky reskin of a yo-yo technique called, um, Around the World. Terraria also has a massive overhaul with third-party additions. Now it's completely built through Steam integration, so maybe finally I'll upload that 24-hour modded Terraria video. Or not. The other addition is Texture Panks, which is directly on the menu right here. Now, I'm not sure if they were in the update before this, but I'm too lazy to find out, so... Also, a quick note, when this update does come out, I will be streaming this all live on my Twitch. So, come join. It may be a video, it may be a stream, 
I don't know. Please watch. It would really mean a lot. Anyway, now it's time for the rapid fire round because I'm lazy. Copper short swords are now a directional item. Probably all short swords, but I won't be using them anyway, so I don't care. Titanium armor now has a different set bonus, which instead of dodging the attack, it actually gives you a cool aura of shards to defend you. Now knock back enemies which attack you, which is way fucking cooler than the old set bonus, and the old set bonus goes to the hallowed armor. The magic missile now tracks enemies when released and also does an AoE impact when landed. You can ride a broomstick. The charge thing from the Martian Madness event also does a shoop de whoop and you can pet animals and just in case XX Jimmy is cool XX in the comments says, oh you missed something. Here's everything else. <laughs> Well, almost everything. Now, there's one more thing that I have yet to tell you, and that would be the Void Pouch. At first glance, it seems like an extra inventory space that you can carry around, but you would be wrong. If you actually zoom in and enhance, it's the Black Hole event from Fortnite, and if you zoom in a little further, it's actually me getting an epic victory royale, and I use Code Helper in the item shop, this piece of 